Good morning, Mark Hutchinson, the apps, Mark Realtor. This is Mark D'Andrea, the doctor of real estate. It is great to see you today. I appreciate you having me on the call. I'm sure things are going well for you. I know what we're going to talk about, but before we talk about that, how are you today? How's it going? Well, good, doctor. I'm doing well. It's, uh, I've only had one cup of coffee, which is a slow day for me, but things are going well. Our granddaughter graduates the end of the month. Because of uh, limitations on tickets, my wife and I won't be able to attend, but her, her parents and the other grandma and their son gets to attend. So life is good to have a granddaughter that's graduating high school. Oh, that makes you feel old, Mark. <laughs> yeah, I, I know that you said it doesn't make you feel old. It makes me feel old. I completely get it. Uh, the grand, grandkids were out in the uh, driveway this morning playing in the water while I was taking care of the horses. And it's just a blast to see them grow up. But certainly a, seeing one of them graduate would, would bring on some years. So I, I get that you're not saying uh, how you feel. That makes perfect sense to me. So um, good. That's okay. I, I, yeah, I think, I think we're talking about today for our clients and family and friends. Guys, we talk about a lot of different subjects on these videos. We hope that they, you find them helpful. If you like these videos, smash the like button, share them on YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram. We do that. We're going to be here doing them every week. Uh, we would really appreciate it if you'd share those. Today's video that Mark's invited me on is taking care of your vehicle. Mark, what are some of your thoughts on taking care of your vehicle and why is that so important? Well, you know, number one, vehicles are expensive. And when you don't take care of them, the maintenance goes through the roof. So I had a discussion with my mechanic uh, a few weeks ago. And then I did some research on Google. And a couple of things that, that we've thought up, we sort of take for granted is when you see a pothole, you don't hit the accelerator to try to fly over it, you slow down. Or if there's no traffic, you go around the pothole because you could, I've seen people bust or uh, put a dent in their rim. You hit it too hard, your alignment goes out. Uh, during the virus, a lot of people did not drive their vehicle enough. Therefore the oil set, the gas set, the tire set, and the car needs to run some. So even if you only go out 50 miles a week, you got to get the car out there. Yeah. Uh, and then, you know, not changing the oil often enough. There, there's two schools there. One says 3,000 miles. One says 12,000 miles, depending on, on what type of oil, oil you use. But some people like go 6,000 miles and they don't think in that 6,000 miles, you got to check the oil to see if your engine burned any. Because yeah. you might put five quarts in it by the time you hit 6,000, you might have four quarts in there. And the less oil, the less cool coolness that it runs. So it's just, you know, some common sense maintenance. And the other thing that my dad taught me that I don't didn't follow, when it was down to three-eighths of a tank, you filled up. Because stuff gets in the gas tank. You don't want to go through the filler to your engine. And... You want to make sure that you don't have vapor lock when you fill up too much. And the other one is um, if you have an emergency in the middle of the night and you have to get in the car and go, you want to have a full tank of gas to get there and not have to stop at a gas station on the way for your emergency. Mark, so those are some of the things that, that we had. And the other nice thing, I switched insurance companies and they gave me a little thing to plug into my, my car computer. And it rated me on how fast I hit the accelerator to start and how hard I hit the brake when I was stopping. And that is very helpful when you're talking about brakes and engine life. Mark, that all makes perfect sense to me. It reminds me of a quick story. I won't bore the folks out there with this, but my wife owns a 2005 Ram truck. The 1500 series, it's got the Hemi engine in it. We love that truck. It's been our farm truck. It's the one that my wife and daughter used to trailer their horses around for years and years when my daughter was riding and my, my wife was riding more consistently. Mark, that truck has 268,000 miles on it. Uh, it still runs great. 
All we do is keep the oil changed, keep the tires rotated, make sure that we check all the fluids and, you know, just, you know, keep, keep those kind of things going. Guys, if you just take care of a few of those little things and do as Mark indicates and avoid potholes, uh, if it's the winter time or you haven't used your car in a while, get out there and start it up. You and I both know that an engine doesn't even break in until 50 or 60,000 miles. That car or that vehicle or that truck was designed to be driven. So if it sits for a while, it's really not good for it. But we're pretty proud of our old 2005 truck. I take it out on tour with me many times when I don't want to take my car. Uh, it's lasted us forever. And if you treat your cars right, they'll last you forever. I know the new car salespeople don't want to hear that, uh, but the, the cars will last if you just treat them right. So that's great advice. I really appreciate it. Anything else to add? No, nope, I'm having a good day just fighting IT. So, you know, IT is, like you said earlier, works great when it works. And when it doesn't work, it's terrible. Well, here, here's my response to that. All you can do is all you can do, and all you can do is enough. And if we have that attitude every day, I think we'll get through it. So I, I, I agree, I, but I wasn't expecting my videos yesterday to be upside down. <laughs> you're making me laugh which makes my laptop jiggle which makes this video not look as good i'm sorry guys if you like these videos smash that like button share them on youtube facebook instagram and any other social media platform that you that you use mark i appreciate you having me on the call great tips and hints for uh, folks vehicles i'll see you next week thanks again for having me on the call have a great week thanks dr mark appreciate it see ya and bye-bye